Hello, everybody, and welcome to the live stream of Nancy Drew Haunting of Castle Malloy. This is Saturday stream number two. Basically, all throughout this month of September, I'm going to be doing a live stream on Saturdays, Hi, and if Drew. this is popular, this I'll is try to keep operation. going my with guess. it for the rest Go of the year. Poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all... Okay, so I'm playing live in front of a studio audience of three people, I believe. So, hey, you three people, how's it going? I hope you're having fun. These are all the other games in the Nancy Drew series that came out before this one. And uh, let's get started. Phone card from the Leprechaun Telephone Service. Tiger, no, Kyler Tegan Mallory of London and Matthew William Simmons of London request your presence to witness the exchange of matrimonial vows. Oh, wow. Is, is that what a wedding invitation is supposed to look like? Because, you know, I, I, I got married, you know, in between the time, in between now and the last time I played this game, and my wedding invitation didn't look anything like this. I, I didn't say where I was from, to, Huh. I didn't have a weird-looking picture of myself, either. Hmm. Are, are you supposed to put pictures on wedding invitations? Now, now I feel like I did my wedding wrong. It wasn't Nancy Drew enough. When Kyler anyway, Mallory called file. me from her home in London and asked me to be your maid of honor, I was a little reluctant. After all, I hadn't seen her since she stayed with us as an exchange student a couple of years ago. But when she told me the wedding is going to take place at an old family castle in Ireland, <laughs> how could I say no? The wedding will be very small, but Kyler still needs help with all the final preparations, which means she'd like me to arrive several days early. So I'm going to fly to Dublin, rent a car, and meet Kyler at Castle Malloy. She warned me that the place is somewhat in need of repairs, whatever that means. And unfortunately, by the time I get there, it'll be night. But I've never been to Ireland before, and I've never even seen a real honest-to-goodness castle, let alone stayed in one. So the fact that it may be dark and run down just makes it more of an adventure. And you know me, whenever the question is, who wants to go on an adventure? My answer is always, I do. Aww, and Nancy, you've been in a castle before. That th This game, the game with the castle, you've totally been in a castle before. Why are you lying to me in the case file, Nancy Drew? I, uh, uh, okay, okay, I'll stop complaining. Oh, and studio audience, you guys need to uh, help me determine if I'm playing on junior detective or senior detective modes. <laughs> Blair says, oh, the castle's somewhat in need of repairs. Uh, how many death sequences are in this game again? Several. There's a death sequence where you walk out a window and die. And... There's a sequence where you break another window. We'll, we'll see that very soon, coming up at the start of the game. Okay, Allison says senior mode. So does Blair. Okay, so we're going with senior mode. We got two votes for senior. Three votes. Miranda says senior. In preparation for our landing, please make sure your seatbelt is securely fastened. Thank you. So your plane was on time, your luggage arrived, your rental car was waiting, everything went without a hitch? Yep, and according to Kyler's directions, I'm within two kilometers of Castle Malloy. Now stop worrying about me and get over to the Dunhills. What time is it there? Around two. The party just started. It's gonna go all day, so I've got plenty of time. No, my wife and stepdaughter are in the room. Do you want to say hi to the studio? That's my hat, Katie. You're, you're taking my hat to the zoo? Hi! No, that's m my hat. It's the... It, uh, Katie's wearing my Italy hat. I remember when I wore it to like the supermarket and somebody tried to start a conversation about with about it with me. They're like, oh, you're the fake Italian. I was like, no, I've never been to Italy. I just have an Italy hat. <laughs> Hi. Okay, say bye. Have a nice time at the zoo. You do know Michael. Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. Are you driving? Yes, Ned, I'm talking on my cell phone while I'm driving, but it's okay. There's absolutely no traffic. And I think I see the gates. I gotta go. Say hi to the Dunhills for me and have fun. Without you? Yeah, right. Take care, Nancy. <gasps> oh, no!
I love how Nancy's response is like, if what I was in a that? car crash, it would not be anything at all like that. It would be, oh no, then crash. It, 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 I, I would probably say bad words, so I guess it's a good thing. So here's the up top view of Nancy. When she's looking downward, she looks like an adult Jane Pendolin. You know, Jane from um, Nancy Drew, uh, the Blackmore Manor game. I thought that was crazy seeing Nancy's hair. Man, this is it's this is crazy. And let's see. Okay, so I I think at this point in the game there are only two places we can go, Baylor and the castle. Actually, wait a minute. Let me see. Oh jeez. Hold on a second. My wife forgot to uh take her zoo membership card. I'm going to run and get her real quick. So uh pause on the live stream. And we're back. We're here at the Screaming Banshee. Is there anything we can right, do please, here? I... I'm not sure there is anything I can... Whoa, what the... People wearing masks? Oh, that's craziness. Ooh. This game did come out after Phantom of Venice, so these are people who liked Phantom of Venice a lot? Oh, I need money before I can play these games. So I guess there is nothing to do here um, at, at the very start of the game. It was a waste of time for me to go there. Sorry. So here you want to pick up a doll, which causes a sheep to appear. Hey you, what are you doing? Yeah, that's right, I see you. Just walk away, just walk away, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to mess with me. I'm Argle. Let's see, that's that's the picture we're gonna try to get. And I I um I oh my goodness. This is a slider puzzle. So does anybody in the studio audience remember where the empty spot goes? Because that is the key to solving slider puzzles most of the time, is knowing where 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 you're going to finish. Uh, the people in the studio audience are saying that the graphics in this game are, are amazing, and they, they are pretty good, actually. <laughs> Wait a minute, does this puzzle, like, reset every time you look at it? Okay, it's always in the same starting position. Yeah, but if you back away, it changes to the same starting position. Okay, okay. Okay, so Blair says the missing spot is second row, second space. I, I don't know. Whatever. Okay, so let's keep going. Doesn't Nancy usually have a flashlight or something? She could really use a flashlight right now. Oh, I, um, um... Hello, I'm Nancy Drew. I'm here for the wedding. The wedding's been called off. So go on back to where you come from. No, wait, please. My car's in the ditch by the gate. I can't go anywhere. Walk down the road to the inn, then. Give me your keys, and I'll see to your car in the morning. I left the keys in the car. Can I at least talk to Kyler? She's sleeping. No, wait. I came all the way from the States. You cannot stay here. Go to the inn, I said. Now off with you. But I've been to the inn. They don't have any rooms. I've got to stay here. Hello? Are you there? Hello? Okay, so that was crazy angry man who just shows up and says, Oh, Nancy, I'll take care of your car. Now get out of here, ya, ya bum. Kyler, can you hear me? Can anyone hear me? Nancy, don't you have your phone? Can't you call someone? I guess she doesn't have her phone anymore. Okay, so, what you want to do is wake up Kyler. Uh-oh. 
Hi, Kyle. Lur. Deaf are you now? I told you, you cannot be staying here. Oh, what are you doing? That's Nancy Drew, my maid of honor. Let her in. Matt's disappeared? How can somebody you came all the way out here with to marry just disappear? He hasn't disappeared for good. You have to understand, Matt's a bit of a prankster, and the wedding is still days away. Um, okay, so apparently Matt has disappeared. That's not good. And <laughs> somebody's saying, Nancy Drew, in the case of the broken window. Nancy has no idea who the culprit could be. Nope. You mean the wedding hasn't been called off? Absolutely not. He'll show up. Mind you, it may not be till I've started down the aisle, but he'll show, saying he just wanted to make this a wedding no one shall ever forget. Yeah, I think he needs to go to the store to buy a pair of thick woolen socks because he's got cold feet. Why did that man at the door tell me the wedding was off? That was the caretaker, Donald Delaney. Not Donald, mind you. There's no D at the end, so it's pronounced Donal. That's the way you're supposed to spell it, which is to say that's the way the Irish spell it. Proud of his heritage, huh? Indeed. Which would be tolerable if his love for the Irish wasn't accompanied by an abiding distaste for the British. Now, he rather likes me, but that's only because he considers me to be Irish, since I'm directly related to the man who used to own this place. When it comes to my British fiancé, Donald detests him, which is why he was so quick to tell you the wedding's off. He wants it to be off. He came right out and said, if I am to be married in Castle Malloy, it simply must be to an Irishman. Said my marrying a Brit would upset the fairy people, or whatever he calls them. Oh my gosh. Kyler's eyebrows. I've, I've just been watching her eyebrows this entire time, and they, they are just dancing all over the screen. Um, uh, let me see. Uh, what happened to Matt? Where did he go? Do you have any idea where Matt disappeared to? No. But I know he didn't go far. The fact is, sometimes I hear him. You know, his voice. It's very faint and muffled, but it sounds like he's calling to me, saying things I can't quite make out, teasing me the lout. So I know he's somewhere close by. He'll be here for the wedding. I'd stake my life on it. Of course, I remember well your penchant for solving mysteries. So if you want to give this one a go, by all means do. You could start in the nursery. It's down the hall. That's where Matt had set up his cot and was spending most of his time. Find him, Nancy. Having my maid of honor ruin this silly vanishing trick of his would teach him a lesson he sorely needs. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, I can talk to her about a bunch of different stuff. Someone ran out in front of my car on my way here and caused me to drive into a ditch. Are you all right? Me? I'm fine. My car and my cell phone? Uh, not so good. And I'm pretty sure whomever I saw dropped this. Looks like some kind of homemade doll. The clothes. It looks like Matt. And that's his ring. What did the person who dropped this look like? I didn't really get a good look. It was dark and I was distracted and it moved so fast. Frankly, I'm not even sure if what I saw was a person. Denal, the caretaker. When we realized Matt was gone, straight away Denal claimed Matt had been kidnapped by fairies. Which is, of course, utterly ridiculous. It was probably Matt himself you saw, tricked out in some costume and leaving that doll behind just to confound us. Well, I do hope he's enjoying himself, because as soon as we're married, that will be that. No more practical jokes. Ever. Oh yeah, I'm sure he's gonna completely change his ways and behavior as soon as he marries you. What are you doing in here, if you don't mind my asking? Reading. About Someone has a good point. How did Nancy lose her phone? Like, like the phone was in your car, Nancy. About myself you just and dropped away. it and you it see, fell under the seat. Until my grandpa died and left me this place, not only did I have no idea that this castle existed, but I had no idea my real name was not Mallory, but Malloy. Apparently, Grandpapa changed his name 50 years ago, so no one would find out he was Irish. Ari didn't like having the first name Mallory because it was a girl's name. E either way, either way. Your parents didn't even know? Unfortunately, they're no longer with us, so I can't ask them. 
But as far as I know, Grandpapa never told anyone his true ancestry, not even my father. I think it had something to do with his brother, Brendan, the man who owned this place and was living here when it exploded during World War II. He was rumored to have been a double agent, supposedly doing top-secret research for the Allies, but in truth passing his findings onto the Axis. Not exactly a brother you want people to know about. If the rumors were true. Anyway, ever since I found out I'm a Malloy, I can't stop reading about Ireland. So many different people have populated this country at one time or another. The Celts, the Druids, the Gaels. It's all quite fascinating. Have you come across anything in here that indicates whose side your great-uncle was really on? No, <laughs> and if he was half as smart as he was reputed to be, I highly doubt I ever shall. He was quite the inventor, I do know that. Everything that remains in this place seems as if it's been tinkered with. Even his daughter's dollhouse, of all things. I'll catch you later. The five months I spent living with you, your dad, and Hannah. And Togo, of course. That was a very happy time for me, Nancy. I can't tell you how thrilled I am you're here. I get to see you again, and I get to see Ireland? <laughs> I'm the one who's thrilled, believe me. Let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. I'm your maid of honor, remember? I haven't forgotten. No, I haven't. No. Okay, so, um, now the game gets started for real, and we can pick up random books, right? Like, there's a book on the Zodiac, and there's a... Well, I think that's the only book I can get here. This is a complicated gear puzzle. Yes, I remember that, but it's missing two gears, so we can't solve it right now. Let's see, this is the exit door. Whoa, that would have been quite a fall. Yay, yay, yay. Wait, 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 wait. Isn't there a death sequence where Nancy falls? Hmm. I thought there was a death sequence where she falls down the stairs. Maybe that's the other stairs. Oh boy, this puzzle. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So with this puzzle, your goal is to get all of the things from the left to the right. And instead of, you know, just moving the things from left to right. I think I did it wrong. You think Nancy would be able to just pick them up and move them, but no, she's following the puzzle rules legitimately. No smaller pieces on top of larger pieces. <laughs> oh, apparently it's... Apparently it's a, a birthday for somebody in the studio audience, so happy, happy birthday. I am totally not remembering how to solve this puzzle correctly. So this puzzle is kind of kind of difficult, but I'm slowly getting it. Basically, I've got a tower of five over here on the left, which allows me to put number six here. Now I'm going to build a six tower on the middle, so I can put seven all the way on the right. That's how I do this. One, two, three, four, how many of these? One, two, three, four, five, so there's five, so in order to make a five tower, I go like this. I build a three tower here in the middle putting a 4 over there and building the 3 tower on top of the 4. Somebody in the studio audience says they love puzzles like these. You are in the minority. Lots of people really don't like having to solve this puzzle. They find it too difficult. But I think I've got it somehow. It's a fun puzzle, I just think over here on um, Master Sleuth mode, it's a little bit too difficult. Like, seven rounds. That requires like 190 something moves. So, okay, now I start building over here on the left.
so there is a puzzle like this in the proper room and Nancy Drew stay tuned for danger as someone has pointed out la 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 forgotten what I'm doing here yes now I remember okay Basically, with this puzzle, you kind of have to be really super focused on what it is you're doing. But once you get into the rhythm of the of the pattern, it's not that bad. And the crackling noise is coming from the game. It's a fire in the fireplace. One, two, three, four, five. So, okay, so five, which means I build a four over here, which means, yeah, I build a four over there. Which means I build a three over here. No, wait, 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 hold on a second. Did I do that wrong? Okay. Whew. Oh, man. Almost done here, everybody. Still messing up on the puzzle, even though I'm almost done. Got it... Now! That is the weirdest... This'll come in handy. That is the weirdest lantern lighting puzzle I've ever seen. And there's like no hint ahead of time saying, hey, this this will help you fix a lantern. It's just like, you're supposed to solve it. And then you find out what you're solving the puzzle for. Okay, so I need two weights here. There's the fire. Okay, this is the death scene. I don't think I can jump that far. <laughs> Nancy jumps and falls. Good news, you didn't break your neck. You broke pretty much everything else. Traction. Okay, so we've got a, a puzzle here. Somewhere here. I have vague notes on what to do in order to beat the game, but my notes, you know, because I haven't played the game in so long, I've kind of forgotten. Okay, so I've got that. I picked that up from the crow. Can I pick up anything else here in this totally ruined, destroyed fireplace, or is that... that? This is just creepy and old. And... Yeah. Lapin Bleu. Hmm, do I have the things so I can solve this puzzle yet? Can I solve this puzzle now? So cow goes above pig, and this guy and that girl standing near the suit of armor, and the cat... Oh, come on! Whoops. So if the cat is next... No, cat is left of the rocking horse. Cow is directly above the pig. Cat is directly above the guy. Guy is in between the rocking horse... I mean, suit of armor and the girl. Suit of armor is directly next to the cat. Girl's directly next to the suit of armor. So how's this? Check. Not correct. Okay, what do I have wrong here? Girl next to suit of armor. I 
I don't see any mistake here. How's it going? So why cows and pigs? There are no cows and pigs in, in Castle Malloy for whatever reason. Okay, so cow directly above pig, right? Cat directly above man. Got that. Woman directly next to suit of armor. Got that. Suit of armor directly next to cat. Got that. Cat left of rocking horse, yes. Man left of suit of armor, left of girl. I guess I'll try to solve that puzzle later. Cause uh, you know, I thought I thought I had it. Ooh, money. It has been decided the cow is the culprit. I can't disagree with that. Okay, so in senior detective mode, this is piece number one. This gives me piece number six. This gives me piece number two. This gives me piece number seven. Which gives me piece number eight. So let's rotate some of these pieces. Those ones need to be switched. There we go. There we go. Uh oh, people are saying I need to check game FAQs while nobody's looking. Quick, quick studio audience, everybody's looking though. Um, somebody in the studio audience check game FAQs. No! I'm supposed to look at this. Whoa! Here, here's a picture of uh, Kyler looking at some dude who's not her fiance. Yeah. First time I played this game, I totally thought it was her fiance and got super confused. Hi. You must be Nancy Drew. I'm Kit Foley, Matt's best friend. Ignore the eye if you can. Walked into a door the other day. Looks worse than it feels. I'm a bit surprised you're still here, given the circumstances. I'm not sure I fully understand the circumstances yet. That's because you've only heard Kyler's version of what's going on. Or worse, that Daffy Caretaker's version. Either way, it's unlikely you've heard the truth. The truth being... Matt isn't playing a practical joke, and he hasn't been kidnapped by fairies. He got cold feet and left. It's as simple as that. Hmm, I don't think it's that simple, sir. Have you told Kyler? No, I haven't got the heart. Or the guts. Take your pick. I mean, he loves Kyler, but she can be a handful. And he's no pushover either. Their relationship is so tempestuous, it scares him. She thinks once he makes a real commitment, everything will be fine. But he's not so sure. So, he bailed. Without saying anything to her? I'm sure he'll contact her in another day or two. In the meantime... She's in a raging state of denial, and I, for one, don't see any harm in allowing her to stay that way. I seriously doubt he walked out on her for good. It's just that for Matt, marriage is way too much, way too soon. How come you sound so American? Because I am American. My father's VP of International Sales for Krollmeister Incorporated. The company transferred him to London 15 years ago. I've pretty much lived there ever since, I just can't seem to pick up the accent. I'd better get going. See ya. Drop by any time. Okay, so somebody's saying these this game is giving everybody um, relationship advice. What to do when you're having a wedding and 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 the groom disappears? Hmm, that's Madame Isbael. I think you can get some money from her, or for for the Madame Isabel thing. So, while Kit was talking, I checked out do 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 game FAQs like like the uh like the like what the person that? in the chat recommended. What is what, Nancy? Am I supposed to be looking at something right now? Okay, so anyway, it's apparently my solution was correct with the thing that the girl has to be that place. 
not not here but there seems kind of picky Also, nobody believes Kit when he's saying he walked into a door by accident. That's a little suspicious. So wait, wait, wait. So what was that? There apparently was a light outside glowing, which I wasn't paying attention to. So, people are, are, are making fun of the fact that Kit walked into a door. Really? I don't believe he walked into a door. Yeah, more like a door not, says Batgirl. Wait, Batgirl's in the chat? Batgirl? What's going on? Have you been talking with Batman recently? Anyway, uh, I can't help but notice, yeah, his bed is facing the wall. That's... Strange. Is he sleeping on his bed backwards? How is his hair so fantastic if he's sleeping on his bed backwards? It looks like you're drawing something. Are you an artist? Me? Not hardly. I'm with a real estate development company. These are just preliminary sketches for a couple of projects we're working on. In other words, I'm doing homework. Homework. Boring. Have you ever developed a project in Ireland? No, but it's just a matter of time. Especially if we got our hands on a tract of land like the one this castle sits on. Ocean view, easy commute to Donegal, bedrock foundation, readily accessible groundwater. That bog's a bit problematic, but a little sand, a little gravel, a little landscaping, voila! A cluster of six, maybe eight luxury homes amid a park-like setting that would sell like lightning. Also, are there any doors here in Castle Malloy? How did he walk into doors? Like, the doors are all falling apart. I'd better get going. See ya. Stay out of trouble. That girl's saying Batman is mean, so she doesn't hang out with him. Eh, that's a fair point. He, he can be grumpy sometimes. I shouldn't go messing with this without permission. No, no, you can do it, Nancy. It's cool. It's cool, yo. Yo. Um... Okay, so people are thinking the culprit is fairies. Like Where are those lights fairies the tower coming from. Fairies with baseball bats got got the black eye for Matt. Mean mean fairies. No, but seriously, the the groom is missing. How 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 are you having the time to do homework? That's craziness. And I think what you want to do is leave and immediately return because that Nancy, gives you a job. Timing. I just thought of something you can do for me. There's an old-fashioned printing press downstairs. Have you seen it? It's so big, it's pretty hard to miss. It came with the castle. My great-uncle Brendan had all sorts of gizmos and gadgets and machinery lying around. Anyway, when I saw the printer, I told Matt why not save some money and print the programs for the wedding right here. Now the studio audience is arguing whether the culprit is the door or the fairies. What about fairy doors? Fairy doors are the culprit. Yep, yep, yep. And Fiona's face is just looking kind of silly right now. Wait, no, that's not Fiona. Kyler's face is looking kind of crazy. Problem is, Matt failed to get them done before he turned into the merry prankster. And since I have the mechanical aptitude of a bacterium, <laughs> would you mind finishing the job for me? You'd only have to print three more sheets. And the plate, the ink, the paper, everything you need is right there. No Aww. problem. Thank you, Nancy. You're the best. I remember not being able to solve this puzzle. Oh, oh dear. I I blame. Like, okay, well, this is a door. Did Can somebody walk into this door? Not really. I, I mean, I guess, but how would you walk into the door and only hurt your eye? Uh, okay, so, okay, so, we have Batman fairy doors, those are fantastic. Actually, wait a minute. We're going to eventually leave this place and talk to Denal, but, um, I think what we're doing first is we're going to do a bunch of stuff here. That will give me the best man's calling card phone number. 
Yeah, I don't have the best man's phone number yet. Okay, is this a printing plate that I need? Okay, black ink. And then I grab a piece of paper, and I press it. Somebody's suggesting maybe the door was open, but really, only his eye got hurt? I mean, doesn't he have a nose or Alan something? Kane. That's kind of weird. Okay, so let's read this. Kyler Tegan Malloy. Hmm. Okay, so that the prelude, the processional, the hand fasting. What's a hand fasting? I didn't have that at my wedding. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, exchange of vows, exchange of rings, pronouncement, recessional. Okay. Of course, Katie and I had a, a, a super Catholic wedding. We had like two priests and a deacon and a bishop there, so ours was kind of crazy fancy. Okay, to uh, emphasize how crazy fancy it is, we, we did a litany of the saints at our wedding, and that was just approved in 2014, 2013 by the United States bishops, so I mean, it's like, we're gonna take that fancy option. Even if it adds like another three minutes to the wedding. It was cool! I loved it! And now people are saying the culprit is Mr. Tickles, a stuffed animal who controls the fairy doors. Could be. Did you finish the programs? Yep. But I noticed that they say the best man is someone named Alan Payne. If Kit is Matt's best friend, why isn't Kit the best man? Matt said that's the way Kit wanted it. He got here early too. But when Matt vanished, Alan was certain that Matt was playing a joke and refused to be the butt of it. So he went back to London, saying he'll reappear only when Matt does and not a moment before. You know, perhaps you should give Alan a call. 00440207946 0481. How do you remember that entire phone number? He may have seen something while he was here that could help you find Matt. You'll have to use the phone down the road at the inn, however. My cell phone... Anna says hand fasting is a historical term for wedding. Hmm. It's absolutely no reception here. No, no reception here. If Matt was staying in the nursery, where is his luggage? Right there by his cot. It's not there now. But it was there, just last night. I remember seeing it when I peeked in to see if he'd finally decided to reappear. At least, I think I saw it last night. If it's not there now, perhaps Donal moved it, took it to storage or something. Okay, um, somebody is saying she remembers the phone number because she is secretly a cyborg. And then Logan is asking, is she wearing a turtleneck with a crown? Because I know I yes. saw it after Matt was Yes, missing. she is. So it's around here somewhere, just like he's around here somewhere. I'm sure of it. I'd better get to work. Good luck. The turtleneck might be the culprit. And I think we might be done with with this area for for now. Now, now, now we want to go and call call Alan because that's going to be that's like the first main section of the game doing chores and stuff and then calling Alan triggers something is she the queen is Kyler the queen I don't know I don't think she's the queen she's still wearing a crown and I like how the lights are flashing on the car Phone card to the rest. Phone card to the rescue. Why did you get a phone card, Nancy, when you brought your cell phone? Hello. Yes. Hi. Uh, my name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling from Castle Malloy. I'm Kyler Mallory's maid of honor. Yes, I remember that name. Has Matthew finally put an end to that ridiculous prank of his? No, I'm afraid he's still at it. But if you have a second, could I ask you some questions? It should be a minute or two before my ride gets here. What's on your mind? Okay, so why isn't she wearing a crown in this picture? Where? What happened to her crown? Did she just get her crown recently? 
And I can't help but notice that's the same as the turtleneck she's wearing now, but it's just purple. So does she have like a closet full of turtlenecks, which are identical but different colors? Do you have any idea where Matt may be hiding? None. And if what you're really asking is, am I in on his little joke? The answer to that is absolutely, unequivocally, no. I detest practical jokes. Did you help look for Matt after he disappeared? I did not. As soon as Kyla said it would be just like Matt to disappear as a prank, I refused to join in any search for him. And when he didn't show up the next morning, I left. I did not travel all the way to Ireland to be made a fool of. Besides, I'd had quite enough of the three of them and rather liked having an excuse to leave. You didn't get along with them? I was fine. They're the ones who couldn't seem to get along. For instance, the evening before Matt disappeared, he and Kit had a terrible row. I couldn't make out exactly what was being said, but they both sounded very angry. Furious, I dare say. In fact, the next time I saw Kit, he was sporting a black eye. And the next morning, Matt and Kyla had a go at each other. Nothing physical, mind you, and once again, I couldn't make out what was said, but I promise you, they were quite put out with each other. I was more than happy to bid the lot of them farewell, though I imagine I'll be returning to the castle before too long. Matt is bound to find his prank as tedious as everyone else does eventually. I must be off. Nancy, it was a pleasure venting to you. Hopefully before too long we shall meet in person. Cheers. Thank you for lecturing me, Alan. Okay, so apparently Matt Matt just punched Kyler in the face. Uh, wait, no, not Kyler, Kit. Why do their names sound so same, so similar? Anyway, Matt punched Matt punched Kit in the face. That's what it's looking like. This is the beat 104, all bouldering all the time. Yeah. And yes, this this is a payphone booth with a touch screen. Oh man, and and when did this game come out? It, it it's like six years ago at this point. So this is like 2009 or so. Oh hey, crazy Irish guy. So you're not so keen on staying at the castle after all, then? Well, I don't know, sir. It turns out there's no vacancy at the inn. I'm staying there. I just wanted to talk to you. Come to me for a bit of aid and advice, did you? Well, I've got none to give. Not till I got the day's troubles behind me and a crow's nest in front of me. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It is the return of Denal Duck. Oi! Huh? He makes me be wondering what he's even for Seamus on his own, running back and forth, trying to mix and serve at the same time. I ordered soon as I walked in, yet here I sit, dying of thirst. I'll do no talking till I get me crow's nest, and there's the sorry truth of the matter. But now, were some spry and spunky lass to lend poor Seamus a hand by taking over the mixin' for a while, that would surely speed the plow. Sounds good to me. I'll see to it you get your crows whatever. ASAP. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there somebody's saying that he to play mix uh, made for a oh. while, are ya? Well, okay, here's fine. what we'll you're to, to the do. I'll take the orders and put the tickets up here. Each ticket will have no more than two drinks on it. And to save time, I draw little pictures instead of writing out their names. The mixin book will tell How you which that little save picture time? stands for what drink. It'll also tell you what's in each drink and how to make each drink. Now, to pour something, put the silver mixing glass under either the juice tap or the beer tap. Then, press whatever button the, the mixing beer book tap. tells you to press. Uh, what? The book will Can also we go back tell to the you beer? how many times to press it. If the drink needs blending, you'll see a picture of a blender at the top of the column in the book. You're to put Don't the solid I need a license in order to make first. alcohol? Then, pour whatever's in the mixing glass into the blender. Oh then, dear. press the red button. And when the blending's done, just reach under the counter and find the serving glass that's pictured in the book. Put the serving glass on the grey mat and pour everything from the blender into the serving glass. If the drink doesn't need blending, Those just find the right blended. serving glass, put it on the grey mat and pour everything you've poured into the mixing glass into the serving glass. Then, add anything else the book tells you to add. Put the serving glass on the tray to the right of the ticket it goes to, and start fixing the next drink. Soon as you've made all the drinks on a ticket, ring the bell, and I'll serve them up. Just remember, if the orders start coming thick and fast, and the tickets start piling up, you're to make the drinks on the ticket closest to the bell first. Now, you'll be making no mistakes, I'm sure. 
But if you do, sure. just toss the glass into the rubbish bin down there to the right and start over. Mind you, lass, <sighs> you must do the mixing fast and talking. Talking. The quicker you mix, the more tips you'll be keeping. To work with, you know. Okay, so first we're making the fairy drink and the crow's nest. So I guess the crow's nest... Okay, fairy drink is um, two of these. And then four of these. One, two, three, four. And a strawberry. I guess maybe this is blended. Then we put in a strawberry and two things of ice cream. Then we blend it and put it in a shot glass. Next we want a Denal's thing, the crow's nest. So he wants one of these. One, two, uh, I think I made a mistake. I can't tell if I press that or not. One. One, two, three, four. Then I'm going to put in... I Okay, hold on a second. It goes in this mug. It gets ice cubes and a lime. Okay, perfect. Now, where is that fairy drink? Sorry I'm ignoring you people in the, in, in, in the chat. Somebody's saying, like, ice does not go inside... I, I, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four. One, two. Yeah, when this challenge is over, I will pay attention to the people who are in the chat again. I'm trying to go extra fast so I can get some tips. You didn't make what they asked for. Okay, so you can't um, only do half of the order. That doesn't count. This is like the craziest fruit drink ever. Ah, not a moment too soon. Ah, yeah. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. I kind of wish the area you had to click in was a little bit larger. Ooh, and just this, this is just a mug of root beer. Okay, how do I get root beer? There we go. That's the wrong type of root beer. I'm trying to get... Another round completed. All done and dusted, Yay. are ya? Thank you, miss. Take what's in the tip jar. And the next time you help out, you can keep the tips then as well. You may come in crow's nest, girl, with... Okay, so here's a theory about, you know, this guy trying to do all these drawings to save time. Maybe he's got, like, a, a set of, like, 50 drawings for each order, and he just puts those up so he doesn't, like, do the drawings every single time somebody makes an order. I don't know. Well done. Now, I'm to tell you what happened to the Sassenach, am I? T I'm sorry, happened to the what? The Sassenach. The Englishman. The one Kyler was supposed to be marrying. Well, what happened to him is this. The she took him. The good people whisked him straight off to their world, they did. By the good people, you mean fairies? You'll not be hearing me call him that. All of us have a name we prefer, and with them, the good people it is. So that's what I call them, and you'd be wise to do the same. Just what are these good people going to do with him? Whatever they please. He's in their world now, and he'll not be coming back. That's as much of the truth as we'll ever know. Tis not the first time the good people have seen fit to meddle in the affairs of Castle Malloy. Caused the explosion they did. Explosion? Aye, the one that half destroyed the place. The man who lived there in 1944, Brendan Malloy was his name. He was a scientist, charged with making rocket fuel, people say. Only one summer night, something went terrible wrong. There was a flash, like a thousand lightning bolts. Then a huge boom sent everything south of the library flying towards the sky. Brendan, his wife, Caitlin, 
used to own this place, she did. Aye, and their little girl, Fiona. All three were lost to the world forever when the place blew. But the blame lay not with Malloy. It was the good people. They'd taken a shine to Fiona, is why. And they knew that little girls, no matter how much they're adored by wee folk or mortals, sooner or later, all little girls grow up and grow old. The good people couldn't bear to see this happen to their beloved Fiona, so they made full sure it never did. Sounds to me like... Yeah, okay, so the good people, uh, let's recap. They blow buildings up and kidnap people. These are not good people. The good people are actually just the opposite. They have their ways, and we have ours, is all. That's just the way of things. Got plans for you, they do. The fairies? Uh, the good people? What makes you say that? I meant to pocket your car keys for safe keeping on my way over here. But I couldn't find them. You mean my keys weren't in the car? Aye, that's exactly my meaning. Taken they were. The good people want you to be staying. I'd better get going. Fine with me. Okay, we'll talk to him later, but now we've got games. And it's it's pretty good to save your game before trying to trying to beat these games because they cost money. So I want to have exactly zero at the end of this game. And once again, Nancy Nancy has a hard time uh, playing darts. I mean, her dart just keeps moving left and right. Maybe she's been drinking too many of these crow's nests. Hey, hey, I got a, a middle, finally. Hey, hey, um... Bust! Oh, no. So that's why we save our game. So yeah, the good people stole Nancy's car keys as well. So this leads us to a question of who really did steal Nancy's car keys. Because at the end of the game, we don't get told what happened to her car keys. I believe that mystery goes unresolved, it does. Come on, bullseye. Ugh. I am just awful at this. Hey, I got a coin from out of nowhere. Now somebody's wondering how Nancy got home. I don't know, maybe Denal gave her a ride home. That, that wasn't explained either. Oh yeah, watch this. Watch this, everybody. Mad skills here. Uh, 20. 20. Now I need to get 11 on two things. So that would be... 7 and 4. Come on, go down to 4. Go down to 4, Nancy. Nancy! Nancy! Go to 4! Four. 4. And then... 7. Oh yeah! Okay, save that. And I think... I think I have to do Difference Detective, I'm not sure. Oh man, okay, so... Um, let's see. Robber's Mustache. Sun is gone. A coin from the bag disappears. The dollar sign on the money bag is gone. The license plate is gone. The hood ornament is gone. The light on the back fender is... The light on the back fender is gone. The police sign on the wagon is gone. A stripe on the cat's back leg is gone. The bolt on the fire hy... There's a bolt on the fire hydrant? Well, that's gone. A line on the front corner of the car is gone. Okay, that's not very specific there. Um, a shadow on the curb is gone. Okay, so the line on the front corner of the car... Got it. 
Hey, hey! Okay, solved the puzzle. What's on your mind then? Then we'll we'll talk to this we'll 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 talk to Denal for a while. Do you dislike all Englishmen as much as you dislike Matt Simmons? Or is he special somehow? I've little use for any Sassnach. But I took a dislike into this one soon as I laid eyes on him. Arrogant he was. Cocky. Disrespectful. Foolish. Always touching things he shouldn't. Go in places he didn't belong. Worse than a stray dog that one was. What about Kyler? Aye, Kyler. She's different. She belongs here. It's in her blood. It's the reason she does not but read up in the library. She'll not be leaving Ireland, mark my words. And if she winds up marrying Mr. Foley, all the better. So, Kit, you like? Aye. He may talk like a Yank and live like a Brit, but there's Irish in the lad. I saw it right off. Little wonder he's in love with the girl. They'll make a fine pair. Whoa, wait a minute. Kit's not in love with Kyler. Blind, are you now? Loves her, he does indeed. He's all but wearing a sign saying so. He came to the wedding early to make sure there'd never be a wedding. Only the good people saw to that for him. Ah, the luck of the Irish. Guess I'll go now. Good night to you. The luck of the Irish. We're so lucky that people get kidnapped whenever we have a wedding. I... Nay... No, I, I am... Hmm. Okay, so now we're going back to the castle. Yeah, Don, Donal definitely, he, he ships Kyler Kit. Kitler? Kyit? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know how you're gonna put those names together. That, that, that just is kind of awkward. Anyway, um, where did you go, Kit? There he is. How's it going? Alan Payne told me he overheard you and Matt arguing the day before Matt disappeared. And pretty much right before you <laughs> walked into that door. What were you doing talking to Alan Payne? I thought he might know something that could help us find Matt. I told you, Matt bailed. He doesn't want to be found. Look, Alan Payne doesn't really know Matt or me, okay? Matt asked him to be his best man because he works with the guy and thought it was the politically smart thing to do. And your point is... He misunderstood what he heard. Matt and I have been friends for more than 12 years. We were just fooling around. Fooling around? <laughs> you ended up with a black eye. I told you that was an accident. I'm clumsy. I accidentally walked into his fist. Okay, so Ethan's saying, you know, he ships it so hard the Titanic just sunk again. What were you two talking about? I, I forget. That's how inconsequential it was. Hey, I just remembered. Kyler wants me to do the seating chart for the wedding dinner. Like I said, I can't bring myself to tell her there's not going to be a wedding. Anyway, I need to get to work on it, so you're gonna have to excuse me. Meh. Of course, Meh. you could always give it a you're shot. You're gonna have to you excuse just have to figure me, out where Nancy. Each guest should sit by taking into account their needs and preferences. What do you say? Sure, I can do that. Excellent. Just fill it out and bring it back to me when you think you've got everyone sitting in the right place. I actually have the solution written out here. Because unless and until it gets so, done, what? I'm going to be pretty much incommunicado. Hey, I was trying to solve the puzzle, sir, and then he just interrupted. Okay. Oh, man, this puzzle. Oh, man, this puzzle. So, I, I, I made a video game called Francie Drew and the Mystery of the Missing Mother-in-Law. And uh, we had a puzzle like this in our game, and it just took forever to, to actually program and write all the rules for the puzzle and figure out where things are supposed to go. It, it was rough. So that looks right. Right? How's the seating chart coming? Could you take a look at it? You bet. This looks great. Wow, you did it. I'm impressed. So now we can talk. Yeah, now we can talk. Oh, hey, actually, you might want to take a look at this first. I found it on the floor in Matt's... <laughs> I like Sydney's comment. I don't feel like working, so here's my work. Do it for me. Room when I was looking for him. What is it? Frankly, it didn't make a lot of sense to me. But maybe it will to you. Take it. If anybody can figure out what Matt was doing with it, you can, I'm sure. Good luck. 
<laughs> so now I, I give money to Madame Isbael. I would like a fortune. That's not a fortune, but it's something we need. Baldo! Oh, Baldo Matthias. I remember him. Nancy Drew goes to Hawks Moon Lake. So now that I have that random book, yes, everybody loves that book, right? We can go over here. For the leprechaun puzzle. Wonder what that crow's doing in there. Ah! Ah, ma, 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 ma. Right, left, back, forward, right, back. Cool, so that gives me stuff. I, Kyler, pick you... Okay, so what word is this crossed out? W-O-K? I choose a walk? No, I I want... I, huh! I don't know what word she's crossed out, but anyway. I, Kyler, choose you, Matt, as my best friend. As my friend, my love... No, not love, companion, my love, husband... Through life's trials and trip celebrations, we'll travel the road of the road together through thick and thin, united in heart and mind from the first meeting you have. What am I doing? This is wrong. Oh man, this this is definitely a weird, weird thingy. So Kyler had a really hard time writing her vows. Poor fellow. I mean, the um, woman. Moving around in this game is kind of difficult. I seem to be having trouble with that. Uh, Kyler, do you have anything to say? You have a lead? Not really. Did you know when you decided to hold your wedding here that half the place is pretty much rubble? Oh yes. Mind you, I didn't even know that Castle Malloy existed until Grandpapa died and I was notified that I'd inherited it. At which point the executor of his estate sent me pictures and assured me that despite its appearance it was in fact habitable. I'll catch you later. Anytime you want to talk, I'll be right here. Th this place is barely habitable, lady. You're, 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 yeah. Okay, I don't quite remember the solution to this puzzle, so that's... Oh wait, now I remember. I've got to put these things on first. Look at all this stuff Nancy's carrying. So much stuff. Okay, so it's going to be um, red, orange, yellow, green, light blue, dark blue, purple. That was it! Ooh, who solved the puzzle? Michael solved the puzzle. And is there anything else I'm supposed to pick up here? So that puzzle leads to the uh, hidden passageway. And that will allow me to reach the bog. Ow! Out of my way, Crow! Oh! Ooh, jeez. Crow just flew right into a wall. Also, check it out, bros. This... This is where all the game's animation budget went to. You're right. There has to be a logical explanation for what we just saw. So I'm going to calm down, relax, and trust that you will discover what that thing was. 
You are going to figure it out, aren't you, Nancy? I promise. Oh, I promise I'm going to run away. Okay, so now that I have the weights here, I can actually solve the puzzle. So, um, let's see. 40. 1, 2, 3, plus 5. Plus 55. That's one group of three. Okay, next is going to be 60, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 60. Plus 3, plus 37. Okay. Yeah, Nancy just sort of stood there and looked at the banshee because it was amazing. Hey, hey, and I got the plate for the thingy. Woohoo, everybody! We did it! 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 You have a lead? I'll catch you later. Anytime you want to talk. I'll be right here. <laughs> so now's the part where we do a lot of wandering around in this game, I think. At least I think that's this part. Did you hear something just now? Like someone screaming? Or was it just the wind? Actually, it was Kyler. She and I saw someone with long white hair reaching in through the window of the nursery. Kyler screamed, and whoever or whatever it was disappeared. How could someone reach in through the window? The nursery's on the second floor. Whoever we saw looked like the person that ran across the road in front of me when I first arrived. If Matt were still around, I'd say it was him. But since he's not around, maybe Denal has sprouted wings. So Denal is now a fairy. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. If you weren't going to be the best man, how come you came out here so early? I volunteered to help get everything set up, and Matt and Kyler took me up on it. I'm pretty good friends with Kyler, too. In fact, I'm the one who introduced her to Matt. How long have you known Kyler? Four or five years. I met her my first year at university. She'd just gotten back from the States. From staying with your family, in fact. Wait a minute. Nancy Drew! Kyler told me about you. You're the girl who likes to play detective. Well, it's just, you know, kind of a hobby. Although Kyler did say it'd be nice if I could find Matt. Well, you're not going to have any luck doing that. Old Matt is long gone. From the looks of that picture I found over there, it looks like you and Kyler used to be a lot more than friends. Yeah, we dated for a while, until it finally became obvious that we were better as a couple of friends than as a couple. No biggie. Mmm, yeah, yeah. I better get going. See ya. Stay out of trouble. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, we've got this figured out. So Kit heard Kyler screaming. He heard the Banshee screaming. He didn't bother to come upstairs to see what was going on. He just sat there on his bed and did his homework. Yeah. Okay, so now, now we can solve this puzzle. Now, as the studio audience so kindly told me, the missing piece is going to end up here. So let's start with the left hand side then, because the missing piece is on the right hand side. I think these two pieces go in the lower left, so let's get them over there. So, um, let's see, I think that, no, that's not it. We need to find the piece which goes there. I think it might be this one. Yeah, okay. And then the piece that goes above it is going to be the other one. So once again, I apologize for ignoring everybody in the studio audience because I'm gonna be super focused on this puzzle, getting the whole left-hand side completed. So now I get the second from left row into place. Okay, that piece. That piece. Now I just need to figure out which two pieces go here. Does that look good? No, it doesn't look good. 
must be this piece then. Oh, wow, that, that actually looks perfect. Okay, so somebody has suggested that maybe Kit is drawing a picture of Kyler. Hmm. Okay, that's possible. Oh, so now what I want to do is, um, now that I've got the right-hand side of the board done, I'm going to work from the bottom up. That's the fastest way to solve this thing. So there's actually, I mean, somebody designed a, a program for slider puzzles to tell you what's it the fastest like way to solve a slider puzzle. I, it's like, I need to, I need to use that program for this puzzle because this is kind of a crazy one. Okay, so I solved the slider puzzle and I got the thing. I got the thing. I got the thing. <laughs> I'm going to give you work that I could easily finish in two minutes, but I'm going to let you work on it for two hours. I'm trying to find a bog here. There it is. Okay, so on trail is that. So forward is one above, right? Okay, and then, okay, got it. So now I'm going forward, then one right, then two forward, one, two, then two right, one, two, one, two, oh gosh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two. I wonder if the solution to this is the same every single time or if it changes every single time. Somebody wants to draw a picture of Kyler as a unicorn wearing a turtleneck. Man, this bog. Okay. We did it! 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 Hooray! Now we're in the house with the jet pack. Yep, and now the next main thing is going to be getting our jet pack working. Looks like I need a key. Looks like I need wool to uh, finish that thing. Ew! Yuck! Ew! Need to get rid of those bugs. Insecty bugs. To summon a banshee. Whoa! Banshee infestations. Ah oh, man, what's the thing that gets rid of bugs? I forget. Da 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 da. <laughs> I'm reading my notes here. Okay. So Bugbane. Bugbane was here, right? Bugbane. Okay, so yeah, we can solve this puzzle here. It's I already have some bug repellent. I don't need to make more. Nancy needs the key to this house that she's trespassing in. Yes. Yeah, that didn't work there, Nancy. Nice try. So, Tansy, Penny Royal, Catnip, Time, Wormwood. Is that okay? That gives me that gives me the bug bane.
That gives me the lens. Okay, is there anything else I can do here in this house? I think that's it for this house. And I think this is going to trigger another huge puzzle. So you're supposed to use your lens here. On all three of these Celtic crosses. I don't know if you have to do it on all three or just one, but I'm being extra careful. And I know there's a part of the wall that I can look at here. I want to press those three symbols I just saw, you know, through the lens. So the symbols are one, two, three. And you do them in chronological order according to those, uh, whoa. What? What? Okay. Oh, this is where the sheep are. Sheepy, sheepy, sheepy. Ah, well, I didn't like you either, Mr. Sheep. Jerk of sheep. Okay, so I'm looking for something. I can't find it. I found a wall. Okay. Sheepy, 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 ha ha ha! Found it. You're supposed to look at this. I don't think you can solve the puzzle now. You're just supposed to look at it. Know it's there. That way you can ask Denal about it. And I'm supposed to go to the wall here. Is there somewhere on the wall where I can get something? I don't know, I, I'm not the biggest fan of this wandering around in the dark thing. It's kind of difficult. The sheep are the culprits? Maybe. Maybe. I mean, the problem with wandering around the dark is if you don't know where everything is, then it's really easy to get lost, and it's really easy to miss one of the things you're supposed to find, like that fairy circle, or that one tree out of the entire wall. And I'm just, just, just being a complaining complainer. So this is the sheep shearing place. And that gives me a gear. And I'm supposed to go back to Castle Malloy here. Castle Malloy, Castle Malloy, Castle Malloy, Loy, 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 Loy. Because this you triggers have a lead? mostly I have a question. Something Do you I know think? anything about this? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This triggers a fight. I found it outside. It looks like a drawing for some kind of housing development for the land the castle sits on. Apparently Kit did them. Did you ask him to? No, and I seriously doubt Matt did either. Kit must have done those on his own. The question is, why? Anyway, I thought of something else you can do for me. Since there's a possibility, however remote, that there are forces at work around here that none of us completely understands, I think it only prudent to do what I can to counteract them. To that end, I would like to include these herbs and flowers in my wedding bouquets. According to Irish lore, each of them is believed to be associated with things I could use a little more of right now. If you could pick them for me and put them in that vase over there, that would be wonderful. Here's a basket. Kit is in trouble. This, of course, means that in spite of whatever it was I saw in the nursery, I still believe there will indeed be a wedding, because no matter who or what took Matt, you're going to find him, Nancy. I have to believe that. Please don't let me down. I'll let you get back to your reading. 
Good luck. Okay, so those were more chores for Nancy to do. And now maybe I have the gears in order to solve this puzzle. So this puzzle's a monster. Um, it really is. Even when I'm working off of the solution, it's a monster. And... That is totally not the right solution, but let's go with it anyway. There we go. So, I mean, you can do something like that, where it's like, okay, did I get it right? Here, let me try to move these things around. Nancy Drew logic. Take money you find like it's your money, but never bring money with yourself when you're going overseas. Seriously, she visits so many other countries and never brings money. It's ridiculous. Do I have the gears for this puzzle? Let's hope so. I think I did. Have I gotten two gears? I mean, I got a gear from the, the sheep place and... Whoa! Crazy. Alright, so people are saying this, this, that puzzle took them forever. I can totally, I can totally sympathize. So now I have all three of those things. I think the, um, I think I need the sheep doll in order to solve the important one. <laughs> Somebody's like, Michael sounds like he just wants to get this over with. I don't know if I, I want to uh, complete the game here or not. See, the, the thing is, I, I'm actually going to try to do a, a speed run of this game. So I kind of want to play this the uh, beginning part of the game over and over and over again to see what's necessary, what's not necessary. For example... I want to see if it's possible for me to call Alan Payne before talking to Kit. Like, what if I just played the beginning part of the game like I did here, but just completely skipped talking, talking to Kit? Is that possible? I don't know, but I mean... Should I interrupt the game here to spend 15 minutes trying that out? Or should I save that for next week's, um thing next next week's stream what do people think about that so I mean I'll just I'll just throw that out here okay somebody's saying I should do that now that's magi pi B but I mean if I do that now I probably won't actually finish the game here you know today then I'll probably finish the game next week wow we've got um, two votes. Three. Okay, well, let me finish the flower search then. Um, I'm trying to find the fairy ring, and I've already got lost. Where's the fairy ring? Here it is. Maybe. <laughs> and some people. Okay, so I'll, I'll just I'll do the fairy puzzle because this fairy puzzle is kind of a a, a a major pain. And then I'll save my game and try out that that stuff with Kit, like I was saying earlier. So wait, wait. Okay, fairy ring. Are there any flowers I need to get from these guys? Nope, no special flowers I need to get from those. There's a flower in the bug hut, uh, uh, the bog hut, the bog with bugs, the boggers, buggers, the bogger bugs. I'm actually messed up there. Um, where are the flowers that I'm trying to get here? Pink flowers? Does anybody see pink flowers? Did I make a mistake? There they are. <laughs> you 
Yeah, getting all these flowers takes forever. Wow, my goodness. It doesn't take that long, it's just kind of a long challenge. Now, if Nancy's a good Nancy, she'll not keep a list of those things. No, she'll keep a list of the flowers we need and mark them off. Thank you, Nancy. So one is in the lower left area. Left side of the road. This is the only time we visit this area. Is there anything in this area worth visiting? No, it's just getting that one flower. How are you supposed to know it's there when that's the only time you visit it? And then I go to the runes for the final herbs. Sheepy, sheepy. No! That one doesn't have flowers. Okay, where are the flowers? No, I'm just... Hmm. Which of these things has flowers? There we go. And that's the last of the flowers, yes? No, I need sage. Where am I going to get sage, people? Okay, castle gate, lower left area. I... Hmm. Alright, saving my game here. Next, I'm going to I'm gonna start a new game Hi, here. I'm Nancy Drew. When Kyler met Hi, I'm just to just to test out this um So your plane was on time, the, uh, your luggage arrived, let's not your talk to uh, Everything kit went without theory. Air. Let's see yep. if we can actually and start to this game with I'm within not two talking kilometers to kit. of Castle Malloy. Now stop worrying about me and get over to the Dunhills. What time is it there? Around two. The party just started. It's gonna go all day, so I've got plenty of time. Are you driving? Yes, Ned. I'm talking on my cell phone while I'm driving, but it's okay. There's absolutely no traffic. And I think I see the gates. I gotta go. Say hi to the Dunhills for me, and have fun. Without you? Yeah, right. Take care, Nancy. <laughs> oh, no! What was that? So let me see, do we actually need to get this, this, um, the, the doll at the very beginning? <laughs> Don't know, we can, we can obviously put off solving the, um, the, the, the slider puzzle at the beginning. So I think for the purpose of a speed run, we'll, we'll do that later. Like when I have to go get the flowers, I'll show up to get the flowers and I'll solve the slider puzzle at the same time. Oh, I, uh, um, Yes, and Nancy crashed hello. another I'm Nancy car. I'm Drew. I'm here for the wedding. The wedding's been called off. And somebody's pointing out Ned has no life outside of Nancy. Definitely true. So go on back to where you come from. No, wait, please. My car's in the ditch by the gate. I can't go anywhere. Walk down the road to the inn, then. Give me your keys, and I'll see to your car in the morning. I left the keys in the car. Can I at least talk to Kyler? She's sleeping. No, wait. I came all the way from the States. You cannot stay here. Go to the inn, I said. Now off with you. Please, can I come in just for a minute? Hello? Are you there? Hello? Alright, so, um, 
Here's the first thing I'll try to figure out in my speed run. What's the fastest way to get Kyler's attention? Because there are two ways. Way number one is throwing three small rocks. So let me time this. Um, go. Okay, I messed up there. So let me try that again. Three small rocks. Um, redoing my timer, so... Okay, so that took about 16 seconds. Now let's just do the uh, big rock throw. Uh -oh. That took about 11 seconds, so it's five seconds faster just to use the big rock. Okay. Deaf are you now? I told you, you cannot be staying here. Oh, what are you doing? That's Nancy Drew, my maid of honor. Let her in. Matt's disappeared? How can somebody you came all the way out here with to marry just disappear? He hasn't disappeared for good. You have to understand, Matt... Yeah, you're crazy, Kyler. Poster, you're crazy. And the wedding is still days away. So with, with, um... With the speedrun, what I would do is I'd play through this part over and over and over again to figure out the fastest way through the conversation. You mean Let's the wedding hasn't been called? Get off? that for Absolutely now, not. okay? He'll show up. Mind you, it may not be till I've started down the aisle, but he'll show, saying he just wanted to make this a wedding no one shall ever forget. Why did that man at the door tell me the wedding was off? That was the caretaker, Donald Delaney. Not Donald, mind you. There's no D at the end, so it's pronounced Donal. That's the way you're supposed to spell it, which is to say that's the way the Irish spell it. Proud of his heritage, huh? Indeed. Which would be tolerable if his love for the Irish wasn't accompanied by an abiding distaste for the British. Now, he rather likes me, but that's only because he considers me to be Irish, since I'm directly related to the man who used to own this place. When it comes to my British fiancé, Donald detests him, which is why he was so quick to tell you the wedding's off. He wants it to be off. He came right out and said, if I am to be married in Castle Malloy, it simply must be to an Irishman. Said my marrying a Brit would upset the fairy people or whatever he calls them. You sure the wedding shouldn't at least be postponed? I'm telling you, he'll show. You see, sometimes I hear him. You know, his voice. It's very faint and muffled. But it sounds like he's called. Now the people in the studio audience are talking about food. I'm kind of hungry now myself. Yeah, I'm getting hungry. Calling to me, saying things I can't quite make out. Teasing me, the lout. So I know he's somewhere close by. He'll be here for the wedding. I'd stake my life on it. Of course, I remember well your penchant for solving mysteries. So if you want to give this one a go, by all means do. You could start in the nursery. It's down the hall. That's where Matt had set up his cot and was spending most of his time. Find him, Nancy. Having my maid of honor ruin this silly vanishing trick of his would teach him a lesson he sorely needs. I'll catch you later. The five months I spent living with you, your dad, and Hannah. And Togo, of course. That was a very happy time for me, Nancy. I can't tell you how thrilled I am you're here. I get to see you again, and I get to see Ireland? <laughs> I'm the one who's thrilled, believe me. Let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. I'm your maid of honor, remember? I haven't forgotten. Okay, so uh, the best way to speedrun it would be to, uh, you know, like I did, I saved my game at the start of the conversation, then I'll go through all the various options. I think there are like eight different variations for that particular conversation. So um, after doing that, what you would do is uh, you just uh, time it, figure out which, which of the eight combinations is the fastest one. So I'll do that later, as in, like, not now. Now 
I'm just doing this 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 giant puzzle. Um are not I think I did it wrong. Yeah, this 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 puzzle. So this is gonna be fun playing this puzzle a bunch of different times, isn't it? So we're coming up on the end of the video, I suppose. People people are starting to leave, and we're we're all sad that they have to go. Everybody's going to go get lunch. Oh, lunch. I wish I had some lunch right now. I'm kind of hungry. to the rhythm of the puzzle, it's not too difficult, because you're basically doing the same uh, move uh, moves on the top over again. You get one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and then one, two, three. Man, okay. Tyler, I hope you appreciate all I'm doing for you, because this, this, this wedding would not happen if it wasn't for... I probably shouldn't... That's Nancy explaining the rule of the puzzle. Oh, man. So did I do that? I did that incorrectly. Okay. We're trying again. something for the, uh, I guess, the audience, studio audience, to try to uh, figure out. What should I call this video? Should I come up with a, a fancy name for this video? Any, any amazing suggestions? plays around. Food. Mm, yeah, that'd be a good name for this video. Food. Michael spends six hours trying to light lanterns. This'll come in handy. Yay! yay. Whoa! That would have been quite a fall. That was not the right door. Go away, crow. Go away. <laughs> the Sheep Hunters of Castle Malloy. Ah, fancy name for this video, I suppose. Didn't do a lot of sheep work in this video, but, you know, sheep are fun anyway. Okay, so it's one, six, okay, and then two, and then seven. Eight, three, and four, and now I just rotate everything until it's in place. <laughs> I like how it let me um, move that thing. Okay, so that's where I got the second gear from. Okay, that makes sense now. Get a coin from here.
So I know this puzzle set up that you can solve it even without the uh, even without the uh, mat doll that Nancy picked up. I shouldn't go messing with this without permission. Nancy, you always mess around with things without permission. I don't see why this should be any different. Where are those lights in the tower coming from? <laughs> Nancy, splendid timing. Okay, good, good, I just good. Thought of something you can so do we're, for we're me. triggering There's this puzzle, which lets us talk to Alan. Have you seen it? It's so big, it's pretty hard to miss. It came with the castle. My great uncle, Grandpapa's brother, was some sort of mad inventor. Had all sorts of gizmos and gadgets and machinery lying around. Anyway, when I saw the printer, I told Matt, why not save some money and print the programs for the wedding right here? Uh, problem is, Matt failed to get them done before he turned into the merry prankster. And since I have the mechanical aptitude of a bacterium, <laughs> would you mind finishing the job for me? You'd only have to print three more sheets. And the plate, the ink, the paper, everything you need is right there. No problem. Thank you, Nancy. You're the best. Fairy Mafia. Secrets of the Fairy Mafia. Nancy Drew in the long list of chores. We've got some creative names for this game slash video. Oh, also I want to grab this plate. I'm surprised we're supposed to know how to solve this puzzle without, you know, getting instructions on how to use this. Best man, Alan Payne. I like how the best man's thing just turns, you know, changes color just to draw your attention to it. I should finish what I just printed before I take more paper. I like how the programs are one-sided too. That's that's crazy. There's no backside on the on to these to these uh, papers. I think we're done. So now we ask Kyler what's going on with Kit. Or, I mean, what's going on with Alan Payne? Did you finish the programs? Yep. I noticed that the best man is someone named Alan Payne. When will he be showing up? Actually, he arrived the same day Matt and I did. But when Matt vanished, Alan was certain that Matt Whoa. was playing a joke and refused to be the butt Whoa. of it. So he went back to London, saying... So did you notice there's a separate conversation if you haven't talked to Kit yet? So it looks like I will be able to get through this He'll this part here? without Only talking Matt to Kit. And not a moment before. You know, perhaps you should give Alan a call. 00440207946. So, so Jessica's asking what my least favorite puzzle in this game is. It's either got to be that that one. Actually, I've got like I don't know. I've got so many puzzles in this game. I I, I didn't really like the puzzle to start up the lantern because that's kind of long and tedious. Gathering all the flowers, long and tedious. Um, the sheep sharing thing is kind of too mathy for me, and the chemicals puzzle is just monstrous. So probably the chemicals puzzle is my least favorite muffs. Muscle puzzle puzzle puzzle. Zero four eight one. He may have seen something while he was here that could help you find Matt. Have you a phone? Not one that works. You'll have to use the phone down the road at the inn. My cell phone gets absolutely no reception here. I'll let you get back to your reading. As soon as you find out anything, let me know. Now I'm going to go call Alan Payne. Do I need to talk to Denal there while I'm there? Maybe.
So let me see, what did we actually need to talk to Kit for? Because when we talked to him... Oh, wait, now I remember. Because we talked to him that... that he gives us the puzzles. So he gives us the lepre. He gives us the table seating puzzle, so we can solve the leprechaun puzzle, so we can get inside the secret room. So that's what he's good for. Hello. Yes. Hi. My name Somebody's is Nancy Drew. Somebody's asking what the easiest I'm Nancy Drew game of speed Moore. run is. I'm Kyler I don't know. Maybe the first yes, one. Yes, I remember that name. Has Matthew finally put an end to that ridiculous prank of his? No, I'm afraid he's still at it. But if you have a second, could I ask you some questions? It should be a minute or two before my ride gets here. What's on your mind? Secret Skin Kill Remastered is the game that people prefer to speedrun the most, probably because it's the shortest. You can do it under 20 minutes. So that's why that's why um, people really like it. Did you I think. see or hear anything strange while you were at Castle Malloy? If you mean, did I get the impression that the castle was haunted or enchanted or anything like that? No. Frankly, I was too distracted by the strange human goings-on to pay much attention to anything else. What do you mean? I mean, for three people who purport to be friends, it seemed to me they did an inordinate amount of fighting. For instance, the evening before Matt disappeared, he and Kit had a terrible row. I couldn't make out exactly what was being said, but they both sounded very angry. Furious, I dare say. In fact, the next time I saw Kit, he was sporting a black eye. And the next morning, Matt and Kyla had a go at each other. Nothing physical, mind you, and once again, I couldn't make out what was said, but I promise you, they were quite put out with each other. I was more than happy to bid the lot of them farewell, though I imagine I'll be returning to the castle before too long. Matt is bound to find his prank as tedious as everyone else does eventually. I must be off. Nancy, it was a pleasure venting to you. Hopefully before too long we shall meet in person. Cheers. Okay, so I'm not sure if I want to go talk to Denal right now. So let's just... Let's just not talk to Denal, see if that's possible. And, um, just, just go back to Mr. Kit. So some people are asking for me to give them shout-outs. Other people want sheep-outs. Which is the opposite of a sheep-in, I imagine. Hi. You must be Nancy Drew. I'm Kit Foley, Matt's best friend. Ignore the eye if you can. Walked into a door the other day. Looks worse than it feels. I'm a bit surprised you're still here, given the circumstances. I was going to say the I just same about showed up. you. Okay, so where was this guy when Nancy was knocking on the front door asking to be let in? I'm not about to leave Kyler here by herself. Until she comes to her senses, I'm staying put. What do you mean, comes to her senses? Matt isn't playing a practical joke, and he hasn't been kidnapped by fairies like Denal claims. He got cold feet and left. It's as simple as that. Are you sure? Well, Matt didn't come out and tell me he was leaving. But hey, I am his best friend. I know him better than anybody. I mean, he loves Kyler, but she can be a handful. And he's no pushover either. Their relationship is so tempestuous, it scares him. She thinks once he makes a real commitment, everything will be fine. But he's not so sure. So he bailed. Without saying anything to her? I'm sure he'll contact her in another day or two. In the meantime, she's in a raging state of denial. And I, for one, don't see any harm in allowing her to stay that way. I seriously doubt he walked out on her for good. Hmm. It's just that for Matt, marriage is way too much way too soon. I'll see you later, okay? Drop by any time. How's it going? Alan Payne told me he overheard you and Matt are- Yeah, okay, so apparently you have to go through that opening conversation with Kit. Arguing no matter what, even, even if you and ignore much, him. Right before you <laughs> walked into that door. What were you doing talking to Alan Payne? I thought he might know something that could help us find Matt. I told you, Matt bailed. He doesn't want to be found. Look, Alan Payne doesn't really know Matt or me, okay? Matt asked him to be his best man because he works with the guy and thought it was the politically smart thing to do. And your point is? He misunderstood what he heard. Matt and I have been friends for more than 12 years. We were just fooling around. Fooling around? <laughs> you ended up with a black eye. I told you that was an accident. I'm clumsy. What were you two talking about? I, 
I forget. That's how inconsequential yeah. it was. Hey, I just... Alan brings the pain, Alan Payne. Remember, Kyla wants me to do the seating chart for the wedding dinner. Like I said, I can't bring myself to tell her there's not going to be a wedding. Anyway, I need to get to work on it, so you're going to have to excuse me. Of course, you could always give it a shot. You just have to figure out where each guest should sit by taking into account their needs and preferences. What do you say? Sure, I can do that. Excellent. Just fill it out and bring it back to me when you think you've got everyone sitting in the right place. Okay. Because unless and until it gets done... Oh, wait. Done? Wrong button. Afraid I'm going to be pretty much incommunicado. Okay, so this puzzle. I'm just going to play for a little bit more, then we're going to end the video. I'm going to... Yeah, I don't know where I'm going to play to. Love how all these are characters from other Nancy Drew games. That's cute. Quit scribbling! I can hear you scribbling! It's loud! How's the seating chart coming? Could you take a look at it? You bet. This looks great. Wow, you did it. I'm impressed. So now we can talk. Yeah, now we can talk. Oh, hey. Actually, you might want to take a look at this first. I found it on the floor in Matt's room when I was looking for him. What is it? Frankly, it didn't make a lot of sense to me. But maybe it will to you. Take it. If anybody can figure out what Matt was doing with it, you can, I'm sure. Good luck. Why is he sure I can figure it out? Do you know I'm a detective, sir? I'm not sure he knows that at this point. I don't think I told him. Wonder what that crow's doing in there. <laughs> ah, crow. Yeah, so let's let's see the uh, let's see the uh, let's see that banshee one more time, and then let's end this uh, stream for today. Two hours, two hours is enough time for a stream, right? Especially when I start the game and restart at the you know restart the game at the very beginning. <laughs> okay, so let's get these these things on here. Seriously, Crow. Seriously. The Banshee are a ban sheep. It could be a sheep in disguise. <coughs> yeah, whatever. Go away. You're right. There has to be a logical explanation for what we just saw. Okay, so, so that's going to be the end of uh, the live stream trust. next week. I guess I'll continue playing was. with this game. So you are thank, going to thank you very much for watching, you, everybody. I promise. I promise.